In May of 2020, China Tololo's body was found in the Ogden Canyon. She was strangled to death by her ex-boyfriend. He is now serving a 15 years to life sentence for her murder. Terry Toilolo and her only daughter, China, were inseparable. We were so close, you know. We did things together. We talked. She was my shopping partner. We get many petties every weekend. That bond changed forever on May 9, 2020. It was the night before Mother's Day, the last time Terry saw China alive. I think about the what ifs, shoulda, woulda, couldas. China got into an argument with her estranged boyfriend, Andy Dennis, at his home in Pleasant View. Police say Dennis strangled the 33-year-old and dumped her body near a river in Ogden Canyon. Terry says China broke up with him before that night, and she begged her daughter not to go back. How did it get to a point where you just decided to take someone's life? China hid her struggles from her family, but she's not alone. What happens privately in a relationship does not always show itself to the rest of us. According to the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition, one in three women and one in four men have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. And intimate partner violence accounts for 15% of all violent crimes. On average, it does take seven times for a white woman, and the numbers are even higher for uh, folks of color, uh, to leave a relationship. Is there um, an incident or at what point in their relationship where you and your husband saw some red flags? They got into an argument and she jumped out of the car because he was beating her up. <laughs> and she was trying to save her life. Terry believes her daughter didn't confide in her because she was scared or embarrassed. That's why she's sharing China's story. And she hopes those in her Polynesian community especially will seek help if they are trapped in an abusive relationship. In Polynesian culture, we feel like, you know, this only happens in the movies. Never would be me if my Polynesian people are listening. Open your hearts and understand and listen. If you know someone going through abuse, there are ways you can help. We'll go ahead and post a list of resources on ksltv.com, as well as some events happening in October as part of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. Tamara, thank you. Along with those other resources on our website, help is always available out there. You can call the Utah Domestic Violence Line, that number, 1-800-897-TALK.